and I've got uh, these are four different throws. Um, they are synced up uh, to when the ball hits the mitt. <clears throat> okay, so we we catch all these balls uh, at the same time as we go through. And see we get rid of the one on the bottom right uh, the quickest okay well, two on the left are nearly the same and the one on the upper right um, is last okay let's see if we can look at a couple of reasons why it's uh, why it's different why one was better than the other let's look at that one on the upper right the upper right which was the slowest <clears throat> okay you can see you, you you're standing up and reaching you know across your body on this particular ball, if you feel that that yourself reaching across and that front shoulder closing down, you should not. You should sit into that back leg and uh, not shuffle step. And I'll, I'll show you an example of that. Um, but we we shouldn't be stepping on that one. Okay, so again in the upper left, we're reaching across. Okay, we should just sit into that. Stay down. Stay low, sit into that back leg, and just push off of that back leg. The front foot, I'm sorry, the back foot, the right foot should not step in that throw in the upper right, which happens to be um, the slowest release time. Okay, as we receive the ball, what we want to do is we want to get that ball um, to the chest, to the center, you know, to, to the sternum as quickly as possible. You don't want to bring the ball way back. You want to bring that ball right to the chest and right to the center line. And I think on all these that can be improved. Um, And again, once once we bring it to the chest, we want to feel like that as we take the ball out of the glove, that's starting the motion. And I think that's the, the main reason why the one on the bottom right is the best. Okay, You see the one in the upper left, we've kind of got the ball out and it's just sitting there. Okay, You've actually got it out sooner than you have it on the bottom right. However, the, the elbow is working up you know, sooner and quicker on the bottom right. It's already up and we're already into a position. So... The reason that one is the best is because the transfer starts your throwing motion, okay? Your motion is started by taking the ball out of the glove, and that's critical, and you don't see that in the others. You see, the, and it's really the rotator cuff is kind of dead in the other ones, especially the upper right and the bottom left, okay? And even, even the one that you get out quickest in the upper left, the ball just kind of sits there, okay? Whereas... This one on the bottom right, I like the way we are starting our motion out of the glove. The transfer starts the motion. Okay? And I think we let, even though I like the arm action a lot in the upper left, you might let that ball get a little too low. We want a lot of loose activity at that shoulder joint, um, but I think the ball gets a little too far down there. Overall, I love that motion, and it's a loose, fluid motion, and we want to keep that. But the ball, we want to stay loose at the shoulder joint, but the ball may be a little low in that one. You know, Although I, I do like that the, the motion overall in the upper left. But the big thing is, is that motion has started. You know, in that in that bottom right, and that's why it wins. That's why it wins by so much. I mean, that that's a big difference, and it's because you're not just standing there holding the ball. Okay, let's let's look at the feet here and see see where the differences are there. Again, you you know you you shuffle step on all these, um, and and the shuffle step is too big. Uh, that that back foot, that right foot, should not pass up the front foot. Okay, um, that that's too big. Um, it's too much. Foot's in the air too long. Let's see if any of these are any quicker than the other. Yeah, the bottom two are about the same in quickness. We're still up in the air up top. Let's see about the front foot getting down. Should be the the bottom two again, almost at the same time. 
But again, but you know, the arm action gets started sooner on the bottom right, and that's why it that's why it beats it. That's why it beats that one on the bottom left. Okay, so it, it's it's starting that motion out of the glove is is the big thing, and then we're gonna have to on all of these quicken up the footwork. Okay, we're gonna have to quicken up the feet. Okay, and and we've also got to resist standing up. Okay, we've got to keep that butt below the ball and stay low. You want to be so quick that you, you know, that you've completed your step, um, you know, and your transfer before you've even had time to stand up, or at least that, that's the way you want it to feel. But it, it, it's here. That's the difference right there. The one in the upper left, you get the ball out sooner. See, ball's out. But your arm's not doing anything. Then it kind of starts up, and, and I, I think it adds a little bit that the hand drops a little too low. Okay, we want that nice loose action, and we want to keep it loose, uh, you know. But as a catcher, you let it get, you know, down that far costs us a little bit of time. But it's not the main reason is the arm just sitting there. The biggest thing is it just sitting there as it gets the ball out right here, just sitting there. Whereas we're not doing that at the bottom the bottom right okay here we are at release okay and we receive these balls at the same time okay these balls are all received at the same time and again so so this is you know where Arden is behind um, you know the the major league catcher the one on the bottom right not not too far behind yeah look, look at the pronation too I like to look at that you know just to be aware how that hand turns over um, and, and you really want that, okay? Again, the, the other two on the left, much farther behind, okay? Let's take a look at the feet real quick. If I can back it up. Again, you know, you can see how Luke is, is staying lower. We really look at the knees there. Um, again, the, the the shot of Arden on the bottom left, that's a really high pitch. That one's understandable. Um, the other two, you can see how Luke's knees are still really, really bent, and he's still down there. Okay? And then look at the difference in the, in the step, how Luke's back foot doesn't get in front of the front one. Okay? I know my video's a little cut off there. Of Luke with the back foot but it is a shorter step the feet should not cross okay so we've got much quicker much quicker feet going on there all right so here we have a pitch uh, here that closes the catcher down um, where it's on you know it's on the outside you can see Luke reaching across there, reaching across. Okay, ball hits. And again, Luke is still down, you know, at this point. Okay. And he's going to try to throw down and pick the guy off a second here. Okay. But if you look at the footwork, you can see as as that as that glove reaches across, he sits into the back leg and pushes off the back leg. We see Arden here in the bottom left. He's reaching across and he still shuffle steps. That's got to stop. Okay, we've got to go to work on any ball to the outside part of the plate. You know, if we're set up normally, it's really you know feeling that glove close you down. You've got to sit into the back leg and uh, and get rid of it that way. Okay, so again, you see how far ahead he is on that throw down on that particular um, on that particular pitch where he's just sitting into that right side okay so as soon as that glove starts to close us down let's eliminate that shuffle step sit into the back leg and go but again he's he's staying really low you know he's really staying down um, and and the the footwork is much shorter okay now on the bottom right again Arden does a good job of starting that arm action out of the glove and we get a very similar look there um, you know and I think Arden's arm action there is perfect you know I, matter of fact I think both arm actions 
are really good. Um, so I, I think we're in good. I think we're in good shape with the action itself. He's getting it started much sooner on the on the bottom right, um, and and the arm is not not too far behind. You know, if if Arden on this on this one on the bottom right had shortened up his footwork, I think he gets rid of the ball maybe just a hair behind Luke there. Okay, we're in good shape there. But you see you you see Luke's foot's already down. Okay? So his foot's already down and he's getting rid of it. Okay? And Arden's not far behind him, so if he if he fixes the footwork there I think he gets rid of it quicker because his arm is active coming out of the glove. And that's what I'm looking at. I'm looking at the top of that shoulder joint. Is it active coming out of the glove? You know, and if you look at if you look at Luke, especially the one from behind, you can really see how, you know, he's he's taking that ball out of the glove and that elbow's really winding up and he's out of the glove there and he's ready to throw. Okay? There's no wasted time just holding the ball. Okay? That that gives you a real good and again the you know the biggest things are you know staying low, but below the ball you got to shorten up the footwork closes you down you can't shuffle step you, your right foot cannot get past your front foot when when you take your shuffle step okay and then the arm being active as you come out of the glove okay start the the transfer starts the throwing motion the transfer is the first half of the throwing motion. Okay. The other thing I noticed, Arden was really favoring that left knee. You can see him hopping in the bottom right, and it kind of cuts off. Let me see if I can. I'll uh, unlock him here. And so that's always going to affect you. And it seemed like also Arden was kind of pulling off to the left. So 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 we land here. We're we're in good shape there. Um, and then the knee kind of buckles. And then he wants to favor it. Anytime somebody's hopping like that, they're favoring that left knee. So, you know, we, we want to make sure we clean, you know, get that addressed. And one thing you see there is Arden's, Arden's front knee um, lands a lot straighter. Um, and I, you know, you will see some variance there in the way the guys, you know, how much how much flexion's in that front knee. It is important that it land bent, um, and then it's going to extend through release. Um, again, you can see Arden bending it there to kind of take some of the pressure off of it, and then we get the hop as we come off of it. I, I don't think that's a major deal in terms of being a little bit a little bit more extended at heel plant. Okay, we want we want to see that knee behind the foot. Uh, you know, we don't want to see that knee collapsing on top and he's not doing that. You know, always try to work straight through the bag. Maybe a little bit more um, you know right to left action upon release. Of course you're gonna move right to left as you as you throw it. But if you look at if you look at Luke from behind on that shot, you can really see how he's really driving in a straight line right through that bag. Okay? There's not a ton of you know right to left spin as he as he releases it. We're getting a lot of a lot of standing up as we're receiving, and I know you're trying to be quick. Probably wouldn't be that much of that in a game. Again, Luke's Luke's throwing down here in the upper right, you know, so he's he's staying low even on that one. So you gotta, you know, try to make it permanent. Arden's elbow doesn't rush way out in front of him. The elbow's behind the ear. If you look at Luke's elbow, see how it's behind the ear there as Arden catches up. 
elbow behind the ear there and it's you know it, it's behind him okay the arm action is really nice really good okay so we'll work on that good job bud